She was your canvas. She was your slab of marble. She was the wall on the side of an abandoned building. And you were Picasso and Van Gogh and Monet. You were all of her favorite artists smushed into the form of seductive charm or she wouldn't have given to make sure that she was always your muse. The lengths that she would have gone in order to ensure she would be displayed at your art gallery. She was willing to wrinkle her paper skin and mold her clay heart if you ever needed her to. She knew the risk of being a piece of work. She knew that da Vinci never apologized for hurting his parchment. She was blank before she met you. You saw the beauty in her empty spaces. You drew wings on her shoulder blades and roses on her knees. You dabbed these mini masterpieces with baby powder and coated them with hairspray in hopes that your mark would never falter. It never really worked. Baths and sweats and rain made sure of that, but that moment, the moment right after that supposedly permanent marker left her skin, that moment was always so sweet, so satisfying. Your pictures reminded her of the vacancies of yesteryear, how pale the world was to her before you introduced her to all of its hues. Roses are red, violets are blue, she was blank before she met you. And while your olive skin made the most beautiful of backgrounds, it wasn't quite Enough. It didn't have the contrast you were looking for, so your voice became a new medium. Each word was an angry stroke, a chunk of pottery pummeled into a piece of plaster cracked. And while you left no mark, this was much more permanent than sharpie wings. She became withdrawn. She shriveled up like the flowers on her knees after lack of nourishment. You liked to be able to control how she was shaped. You crafted her into your version of perfection. She was blank before she met you. The flowers don't bloom in a thunderstorm. You knew what you had to do in order to keep your canvas around. Easels would run away if they weren't wooden and lifeless. She accepted your stale apologies listlessly. You were the sun. And you had to keep drawing her new sharpie wings or else her wax would melt and she would drown. She was blank before she met you. This was your version of upcycling, reduce, reuse, 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 recycle, repeat. But the repetition got boring, so you threw her on a potter's wheel and made a masterpiece. While baking pottery, it is vital to rid the clay of all air sockets so that it doesn't explode. You squished her chest and stretched her back out. Reduce, reduce. Reduce, reuse, recycle, repeat. You did this because you loved her. You didn't want her to lose all your hard work. You didn't want to find a new abandoned wall. Girls these days are learning how to cherish their temples. She hasn't, so instead you reduce, reuse, recycle, 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 repeat. She was blank before she met you. You chiseled too much. She's misshapen and broken like the wings on her shoulder blades. No longer lives the girl with the olive skin and bright eyes, no. You weren't kind enough to leave a shell of a human being behind. I guess no one taught you the general rule of thumb, leave the room how you left it. She's the ghost of a painting that never formed the unwanted clay pieces, an empty spray can, a watermark. She lost her color after she met you. Woo!